So let's say we terraform. <laughs> let's say we terraform Mars and then do nothing. We don't even live there. We just terraform and leave it. Let's not take any animals or plants or humans. Let's just terraform and leave it. How long until life evolves by itself? You know what? Maybe not with the first planet that we terraform because we want to spread out and so we can actually live on other planets. But oh my God, if we don't figure out the origins of life by the time that we're terraforming other planets, that is such a good idea. We don't know what that point was. We can't observe that point. We estimate that it's something like 3.5 billion years ago. The Earth has been around for an estimated 4.5 billion years. Mm. And it's like, we can know an awful lot about early life, but we can't know. What Just that, that crucial it, moment. Yeah that it poofed into existence. And if you could study a planet, that think. would be an awesome experiment. What's to say that that's not what we are? This is what I was going to say. Imagine that's how we came about. The water that we have in our planet comes from asteroids and they just fall through the atmosphere and they all yeah. contain water. So a lot of the water on Earth would have originally come from millions and millions of tiny little asteroids carrying water molecules. Maybe microbes came in on them. Maybe there is spacefaring life. So like I said, the, tar the tardigrades, they can survive in a vacuum. They are microscopic, but they are complex. They're not like a cell species. They can survive in sub-zero temperatures, survive in active volcanoes, liquids of pure acid, and they can survive the vacuum of space. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for watching Dope Probe, guys. If you want to check out any more amazing, stupid, and completely incoherent content, then don't forget to like, subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time.